boys and girls, Colin back again. Do you know who this is? <laughs> it's me. When I was 11 years old, I just finished primary school. I went to high school. When I went to high school, I wanted to go back to primary school because I just loved it. And today we're going to visit my old primary school. It's no longer in use as a school. They built a brand new school a mile up the road, but the old original building is still there. It's quite well run down, but we were able to go in, have a look around it, and go back down memory lane. Let's sing the lion song first, then we'll go and visit my old school called Ballet Carrick Maddy Primary School outside Lisburn. Here we go. <laughs> Boys and girls, today I'm outside my old school, my old primary school, and it's quite common whenever you ask parents or grandparents who went to especially a country primary school, they've closed down, they've been redeveloped, re, re or sold, and this has been bought by a local farmer, and it says I can come up and have a look around it. So I'm going to show you in around the school. It hasn't changed a bit. I can describe before I even went into it exactly the way the school layout is, where the steps are. I can remember the teachers. There was P1, P2, then P3, P4, then P5, 6, 7. There was Mrs Young, Mrs McCormick and Mr McCochran. Three schools. I even remember the name of the dinner lady, Mrs Kennedy, and even the people who would 
be the playground assistants making sure the children were safe when they were playing. And I'm going back like 40 years and I was able to go inside the school and you can see uh, there's still books there from 1994 and early 2000s. And this school's been closed down a long time, over 30 years ago. But it's like stepping back in time. Yeah, whenever I was walking around in the school, around here, if for me, it was like it was yesterday. And just here, the school bus would pull up and stop. And there was none of this uh, green grass here. There was no weeds, there's no fence, there's no trees. Everything was like a proper school playground. As you'd imagine, you've got the tarmac and out the back. I'll show you out the back where a football pitch was. There was a little wall. I used to climb up onto the wall. Um, my favorite game at primary school was follow the leader and the whole class one person would lead and whatever they do, they'd jump, climb up in the little wall, whatever, then you would follow them. And I thought, wow, this hasn't changed a bit. And there's a lesson in that because the school has built a brand new school about a mile up the road. I live 2.9 miles from this school and we get the school bus every morning and then home again. I remember the first day I got on P1 and I remember getting on the bus and I cried. I cried so much because all I got, I was leaving my mum and I even though I had a twin brother getting on the same day, and you looked out the window, and as your mum, mum faded into the distance, you thought, you're never going to see them again. I remember trying to memorise where the bus was going, so when I get off the bus, I could make my practice home again. And that was memories of a child in, in P1, age four, stroke five years old. Come a bit closer, and let's have a wee look. The name is exactly the same. It's called Bally Carrick Maddy Primary School. This hasn't changed a bit as far as the layout goes. And I'm sure if I had a spade or a digger, I could quickly bring it around the way it was when I was a child. But the fundamental lesson is whenever you were at school, you just love primary school. I can remember all my friends. I can name everyone who was in my class in school. P1 right through. But one thing about primary school, I can never remember P7 because I never, never made it to P7. I was in P6 and whenever we were in P6, uh, principal said to my mum, Colin needs to reset P6 again. He just hasn't done well enough. I remember joining the library with my mum and the teachers, the, print, the librarian said, you need to sign the form with a pen. And I remember feeling uncomfortable. And I said to mum, I'm not allowed to use the pen. And the librarian said, why not? And the teacher said, I make so many mistakes, it's easier to rub them out with a rubber and a pencil. So I wasn't allowed to use a pen. And I thought, all these memories I have of primary school, I remember the local minister, the Reverend Larmer would come and do assemblies and at Christmas time, wonderful memories. But what has, what's changed for me is while the old school's still here, it's no longer a school. It's, there's a new school and time moves on. I can remember the children, I can remember their parents, their siblings, all of those and lots of parents have moved on they've died and gone uh, left this world and I thought one thing that never changes for me is God and the way to God and for me when I became a Christian it was very simple we keep looking on to Jesus and I thought even as a child I was taught the Holy Scriptures I was made known the plan of God's salvation like Paul would say to Timothy he talks about as from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures and even as as a child, our mum, every night before we went to bed, mum would read us from the Bible, God's precious word. And all those stories that I tell children today, I learnt them as a child because I knew they would never change. And looking back, the stories in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation will never change. We're not to add to the Bible or take away from it. And God's word is here forever. Schools will come and go. Our time in school will come to an end. We'll move on to further education, get a job. It's life, it's progression. We're younger and we get older, but God's word will last forever. It's a very rural, a very country area. Quite often there was tractors on the road all the time. And I love whenever the people would come and cut the grass. I love the smell of fresh grass. But I want you to show you the back of the school. I have special memories around the back of the school. Like an obstacle course trying to get to it. All this is all overgrown. And the farmer would say, just be careful where you're walking because the school 
it hasn't been demolished, it's just decay over the years. These were mobile homes as the school was growing, and you can see none of this was here. These are weeds that are just developing, but everything has just fallen and it's just left to decay because it hasn't been looked after. Here was the main entrance. There are steps up there and I could walk into the school and whenever you walk into the main entrance you turn left, that's the P1, P2 room, P3, P4, then P5, 6 and 7 were on this side and if you look at some of the notes, even some of the seats when I go to sit down I thought wow this was a perfect size for me but I'm now too big for that little seat and you can see how everything's just fallen down and grown up and it's just like life and uh, memories are created here for many many people, many people don't really well. They went to grammar school, got really good jobs, and other, lots of people went to school that they're working, they've got families, and everybody's different. Nobody knows their future, but everyone can look back in their past, and everyone had the same opportunity to learn and to study. But I want to go around the back here a second. This is the playground. Uh, before you came to school, you could play in break time and lunch time. And this is a little wall that goes right round the school. We used to climb up onto it and walk on it. And I was allowed to do that. There was no issue with it. And here was a little field where the football pitch was. And now it's impossible to tell. It's just so overgrown. And for me, that's a little picture of the little bad things in life, or the Bible calls them sin, unless they're dealt with, unless they're asked the Lord, you ask the Lord Jesus to forgive you. They'll creep in. And and they'll creep up and they'll take control until you can't see anything good anymore. And that was a lovely football pitch, a lovely hedge around it. And the boys and the girls too, we just love to play. And now it's all gone. All is left in this school for me is memories. And when you come to the end of your life, all you will have is memories and eventually it will all go. But the most important thing I can remember is the people who influenced me, is the teachers, my friends, and most of all, people who influence me for God and for good. And I'm a Christian today, and I can relate not only to the moment I became a Christian, but to the people who influenced me and told me about God and how the importance of trusting in the Lord Jesus and ask him to forgive me and save me and live my life for him. So it's, I love just being here walking around the school. It's still here and precious moments, the best days of your life. You'll hear from many people, you'll hear from me, is your school days, especially primary school because you have no real responsibilities you're just learning you're just enjoying life and make the most of it because once you leave primary school there's no going back to primary school unless you be a teacher someday thanks for watching all the way from bally carrick maddie primary school can you say the word bally carrick maddie see ya so that's my primary school. My memories are still very much there. I can remember so many people. I could probably write down all the, everyone in my class. And that's come back a long, long time. So enjoy your days at school. When they say the best days of your life, believe me, they will be. And they are. So let's sing the good song to finish with today. Really, really enjoy that song about the lion. That's all for me today. Remember, all our videos once I watch are up on YouTube. We're over a thousand videos now up on our Hope for Youth Ministries YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and they're all there for you to watch at any time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.